Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger again, bringing you the Cypher GS5710 from Senti. This pretty nice gaming keyboard. Right now you're seeing it with no lights. Press this button right here. It dims in kind of nicely. Then it gets really bright. And you see it fades in, fades out. That's pretty nice. Kind of a breathing effect. And then Turn it in all the way, medium, and off, or high and low. So the breathing effect, one hundred percent on, low and off no software required for this so let's go ahead and turn it all the way on for now if you want to record a macro you press and hold MR and you press M1 that starts recording the macro you saw when I first started recording this was 100 percent lit now as soon as I assigned it to M1 now it's waiting for me to put so I think it puts in also the the timing that I give it but so if I wanted to hit Windows then control and then enter and then I hit MR again to end it you see how it starts blinking really quick then it turns off so now whenever I hit M1 it's gonna hit Windows then control and then enter so in Windows 8.1 that'll bring up the control panel I think it'll do it also for Windows 7, but you can put it for games, so then you have M1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You have those, those controllers there. Then you have Game Mode. Game Mode disables the Windows key, probably this key. Disables a few keys that might get in the way when you're gaming, so it's a nice feature for some. Then like every other keyboard you have caps locks turns it on over here you have num lock that it's on right now so I'll turn it off and then you have scroll lock nice little features there over here you have lowering the volume mute and raise the volume nice little features and the bottom of the keyboard is illuminated also you can see there how the bottom of the keyboard is lit glowing off of the white tablecloth that's kinda nice so it's not a horribly bright light. Some people may not like it. It's a nice mellow light. And of course, it's going to be brighter at night. So then also, they give you this little tool. This tool is used for if you want to replace WASD. Pop it right in here. Take it out. Now I have W right here. Now I'm just looking for the W key real quick. I pop in the W here. And the W is illuminated also. Let me bring that in closer for you. So you see, W is lit. Now let's remove A. Last but not least, the big D. So 
WASD. And for people that may game on the arrow keys, got to use it every once in a while. Just looking for the right combination of keys. You can tell which keys are which. For WASD, it's easier to tell, but you'll notice if you look at the keys, the one that has the flat top. would go right here so the flat top would be right here for the down because obviously you're not looking at the top here so you don't need to see that little ledge there or that little slant There you go. All the keys have now been replaced. The keyboard you once knew has been changed a little tiny bit. Pretty cool. WASD have been changed. The arrow keys have been changed. And you still have your very nice keyboard. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. And that's about it. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.